can use whatever tropical hardwood you happen to have laying around the house. And put it in the vise right up to where the bend is. Oh, my income tax check came in. Microphone, commercial, algorithm, loading. Confetti, happy special. We have new thing for you consume. Bye now. China Amazon. Special good thing new buy now. Like game show. Buy special new clothes now. Whoa. Wow. New wig. Wow. Low. Price not beat anywhere. Rainbow stuff. Wow, Fox. We deliver. Low price best. We guarantee. China Amazon. Shop like a consumer. Smart TV. I don't need any of that. Algorithm adjusting. The Tuck Tech Folding Kayak is special. It's a hard shell kayak. World stuff. Be ready to battle in just two minutes. What if I don't have room for a kayak? Don't be a Stores anywhere. You don't need a roof rack. Easily stored in your vehicle. Anywhere. Performance? It's sturdy it and rocks. stable. It's straighter than Les Claypool. That tracks. It's good for you noobs and you experts that know how to rock. Come on, man. If you can't figure this out, you just ain't with it. You're with it, ain't you? How hard is it? Ah! This hard. This ain't one of those inflatables. Tell those sticks and rocks that they don't know how to uh, stick and rock. Cause Tuck Tech is tough. Put that junk in the trunk. Walk on the beach with authority because this thing is light. Stick in your dad's camper thingy because it fits there too. Yeah, right there. Stand up in it because you can. It even stores behind your girlfriend's couch too. Yeah, hide it from her. She don't have to know. Sets up in two minutes on this dock. Yeah, put in the water and get on in more frequently. Just leave the job at will. It all sucks anyway. Hit the water with your bros too. Once you're fired, the opportunities are endless. We got more Kellers than the Ninja Turtles, and it's a lot cheaper than the other ones. You got new opportunities on the water looking for a new job now because you were fired. Order now. No. Sold. Hey all, my name is Jake. I play the saxophone. I make music. I make videos. I love fishing. If you like what you see in here, please hit like and subscribe. And let's get on into it. product called Tuck Tech. It's portable, it's lightweight, and it's very easy to set up. 
So after two years of watching these things and making sure no one died from them, Curiosity Bug finally bit me and I had to buy one. The company seems all right. Everyone's uh, given these really brave excited. reviews, so let's give it a try. And there's only one place I could think of where I want to try it out. Okay, not my most creative decision in where I want to fish, but, you know, it's a good lake. So let's see how this rolls out. So my initial idea was to have a time lapse of what I was doing here to actually, you know, build it in under two minutes, allegedly. Uh, once I unfolded it, I realized that I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I watched all the videos on assembly quite a few times. And, well, there's a big issue here. Basically, in camera angles and tuck tech, you're focusing too much on assembling everything quickly as opposed to actually laying out what you have to do step by step with a decent camera angle. So, the best advice I could give you is to look at the 2023 assembly video and the 2022 assembly video then find a couple other guys that uh, are actually, you know, doing this on their own channels too and figure out as much as you can before trying this out yourself. And Tuck Tech, I highly recommend having just a sheet of detailed directions to actually show what's happening here and how to assemble it. I ran into one issue and it was totally screwing up the entire bow assembly. And it kind of made this entire easy process more like... She was born in the great Edwardian era of luxury liners. Shipyards around the world were locked in a ferocious battle. Who could build the biggest ships, the most lavish, the fastest? The pride of nations was at stake. So yeah, definitely didn't take two minutes five minutes 15 20 took an hour for me to assemble that reason being the 2023 video doesn't show you some vital shots that you need so i had to hunt around in the 2022 video to figure out what was going on with it <sighs> but we got it I avoid the uh, copyright strike like this. So with the boat now assembled and my good old Hero 7 attached my battery pack onto a clip that conveniently fits right at the bow of this thing, let's give her a whirl. And actually, this seat is not bad at all. Whew. Bit of work to get out of here.
That helps. Always check. Feels totally different trying to cast like this. <laughs> Being on Casey's bass boat, it's one thing standing on a deck, but this is totally different experience, different angle. Definitely something to get used to. Currently running with the dark sleeper again. Figure it makes the most sense. Still gonna be low and slow, so keep it low to the lake bed. Howdy everyone. We're back at it again. Hunting smallies on the river. Oh wait, wrong channel. Nope, oh, got a bald eagle right up there. Swarn high. I'm catching a bald eagle, bald eagle. pivot nope wrong pivot so one thing I got to say off the bat the uh, complaints I've read about the oars they look like they've remedied that these don't feel too flexible to me at all I have no fear of breaking even if I'm using them the wrong way so props to Tuck Tech for that Assembly isn't, now that I see uh, where my little fail points were, I, I kind of think it'll be a lot easier next time. But if you just got one of these this year, I highly recommend studying the hell out of that 2023 video and the 2022. There's a couple changes that they made, running changes, but... Uh, Don't expect a, the first run to go quickly or smoothly, but once I started uh, seeing it all come together, it started making a lot more sense. Got my polarized lenses on, I'm out in the middle of the water. I can't see nothing. <laughs> it's muddy. What I might do is try to get along that um, structure out there. say though this is pretty fun acting like a bobber <laughs> the seat is also a lot more uh, comfortable than I would have expected so first time I've been in a kayak in uh, 20 some odd years 
feels stable to me. My strokes are something to be desired, but oh no, I can't really complain. Now, one thing I did forget to do. pliers handy just in case there we go actually no, you know what we're good right there I'll be uh ooh pulled a muscle be figuring out some modifications as we fish along with this make my life easier I think what I might want to do is add some magnetic strips to the side dear tuck tech if you're listening feel free to steal that one wind got me gone a little bit too far By the way, one thing that weren't in the directions, these little suction cups, I see what they're, or end cut caps, I see what they're there for. Water rolls back, hits them, rolls right off. The um, added on pontoons, I recommend them. They add another, uh, what was it, 25 pounds of weight. These things are already rated at 300 pounds, so this gives me to 325. They just clip right in. It's basically a pool noodle with a rod running through it and two little clips. Two little clips run uh, right into two little pockets on the side of the boat. You can't miss them. They're rounded off on this model. going that's for sure still very much in a catch a release season catch and release still trying to find my bass buddies I bet you a five pounder would take this thing for a ride alone <laughs> you had a channel catfish <laughs> This thing builds up a nice amount of momentum. Not sure I'd trust it on any of the three rivers, but <sighs> to be determined. So if your abs are out of shape, you will be feeling this. Been out of here for maybe uh, 20 minutes now. Seat's okay. Abs are not. <laughs> this seat has no reason being as comfortable as it does, or has no right to be as comfortable as it is. Uh. I think my forward GoPro angle might be a little bit sus, but hey, just threw this together. This is a preliminary test.
always modify that down the road. That clip worked out pretty nice though. Got the battery pack Velcroed on there and the GoPro is just sitting comfortably behind it. I know I'm seeing a little bit of the solar panel of the battery on there, but I don't care. No biggie. I either see that or the deck of the boat anyway. But yeah, the uh, claims of stability with these things is justified. Ease of assemble, uh, depends. Tuck Tech work on uh, better video angles for your directions, go step by step and slower. You don't have to convince me that once you know how to assemble it, you can assemble it fast. Just kind of clarify because your models are changing as you guys are figuring out your engineering too. So, just something to be aware of, paying customer. But, yeah, once you understand how this thing comes together, I don't see me having anywhere near as hard of a time next time. Oh, you got one. <laughs> Trout fishing. Let's head on over to the other side of the bridge. It's about a four pounder that likes uh, bass, likes hanging out. There should be like a little weed bed, probably about 20 feet back from that corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sure thing. You'll find a little bunch of little ones hanging out in these rocks here, too, if it's warm enough. Training, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Just had a bunch of snow and rain last week. Did not probably be able to see pretty well. And all this muck. Oh, that's disappointing. Pop it out. Ain't popping it out, it's taking me in. <laughs> Easier way of getting around, I'll give it that. Looking at this little alcove here, said, hey, that looks fishy. right behind this tree right here. Let's see if I can pop it up with my tip. Got it. Come on, man. The tree's falling into the lake. It should be a V facing at me. And the way that one, uh, uh, way that one fell down, went the total wrong way of what I need. Haven over here. <laughs> the 
Joke's on you, trees. I could come to you now. There we go. Rather than temp fade, I'll move along. Water looks really murky over here too. I doubt there's gonna be much anything going on. It's one thing I see they've improved upon from the previous models. It's no longer foam up here, it's a hard plastic. And I haven't had any issues hit my uh, arms off of anything. So that's always a plus. would uh, feed into my trout suspicions the way that felt. I brought a rattle trap with me. I don't think that's... I'm going to try one more cast over here. I don't get anything. I'm going to switch it up. Rattle trap actually isn't what I want to use. I got something else. South Bend. Same thing as the Meps Minnow. Got one on my ice rod back there, the actual Meps. But I've used both of these interchangeably. They do the same thing. And we'll get to see how easy it is to uh, change out lures on this thing. Yeah, I think the five foot rod was the right call on this thing. Call it a hunch.
don't have too much longer. I can stay out here fighting against the sun now. We'll go back to where all those fish are bubbling. Yeah, I'm seeing all, all jump out here. That's got to be trout. It was a hit. I think that's exactly what I think it is. I know those nibbles. Right in their territory. Not quite the finesse lure I should be using to target them, but hey, you know what? Hail Mary play before I call it a day. That's what they are. These are trout. Wish I had some flies out here. These little guys might be... Yep. Dang. Hooked them. He shook it. They're aggressive enough to hit it. I just don't know if those hooks are gonna get them. Bigger lure makes it easier for catch and release, makes it harder for them to actually take it. Yep, there was a hit. They're going for it. set one they're hitting pretty fierce too not screwing around had three or four good strikes on this. There's four hook points on this particular lure. It's going to be whether or not they could get their mouth around it. So after spending an hour and a half on the lake, I came in. And I got to admit, I, even being skunked, I had a blast. This boat was fun. Ran into a school of trout, but I was basically targeting bass. They're all going after the lure, but none of them had a mouth big enough to grab it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like I was being nice. You guys weren't in season. And now you're doing this to me. Yeah. That's all we got was some crappie and bluegill. <laughs> Better than nothing. Can't really complain about that right there. That is awesome. Fishing stuff and all the accessories right in the back seat. So that worked well. I mean, uh, like I said, there were a couple issues with assembly, disassembly, 
disassembly not so much. By then all the creases were where they were supposed to be and I was pretty acclimated to uh, what it was supposed to do at that point. But as far as uh, comfort and water stability was concerned, I, I was impressed by it. Um, too bad I didn't catch a fish today, but hey, the trout were giving me every opportunity. I was just throwing too big for them. The bass just didn't want to play. You'll have that, but Tuck Tech, great product. Uh, one thing I did note is the elastic strap holding the footrest in came undone, so those cords will probably break on you sooner rather than uh, later. I'll retie it next time I take it out. Um, I might replace it with some nylon rope. So we'll try that. And until next time, keep on. Confetti, happy special. We have new things for you consume. Bye now. China Amazon. Special good thing new buy now. Like game show. Buy special new clothes now. Whoa. Wow. New wig. Wow. Low. Price not beat anywhere. Rainbow stuff. Wow, Fox. We deliver. Low price best. We guarantee. China Amazon. Shop like a consumer.